Today I want to show you a couple of things here. Um, to continue the conversation about patina, I know we've been, we've been talking about patina for quite a while now and uh, I just wanted to show you a couple of uh, items that I made and um, I like to say that every single patina wallet that we make here is done one at a time. It has to be that way because it has to be hand painted. Uh, it's a little bit different than um, the shoe patina that you can see on YouTube where the guy first made the shoes out of vegetable tan, this type of vegetable tan, this leather here. And, um, we make, uh, we paint the leather first, then we make the wallet. So I just wanted to show you a couple of items that I make here. Uh, this is a regular traveler's journal. And uh, this is, all of this leather is exactly the same as this leather. Everything came out of this piece over here, which is a vegetable tan, four ounces from uh, Herman Oak. They're one of the best tanneries in the US. So anyhow, uh, let's talk about this one, this two first. Um, this is a purple patina. This one is a Merlot patina. Um, this one is not finished because the customer, the client actually is waiting on whether he should have a white or black stitching. I suggested the black stitching. He is sleeping on that. Uh, he's gonna let me know exactly what he wants to do. And this one, uh, both of these are already sold anyhow. Uh, is a light patina Merlot slash burgundy color. Uh, it came out absolutely beautiful, really, really cool. Very well done. Um, perfect stitching, perfect edges, and things like that. So um, this one, both of them came out absolutely beautiful. Now I wanna show you this one, which is our journal, traveler journal, fill notes booklet. Uh, and this has room for two, uh, two um, books. It has one, uh, two, and three packets. Now I made, uh, I made this one a little bit bigger uh, because I wanted to um, uh, be able to put credit cards here. So we have two and four credit cards. This one is the old rustic look. Um, so it's gold and the edges are black. The patina is blackish color, gold. Very beautiful, very well made. Uh, let me tell you, when you grab this thing, it look, this thing feels like it's gonna last forever, and it will. Um, it's gonna develop absolutely beautiful. All of these items came out uh, really, really nice. But the thing I wanna emphasize is creating a patina is very difficult. Uh, first of all, um, I have to think about time because it took me about um, 10 hours to make this booklet. Uh, if I was to make this booklet uh, straight out from this leather here, from this type of leather, it's probably going to take me less than two hours. You know, in a good day I can make 10 of this, uh, just regular uh, non-patina. Um, but it took, you know, I can I can only make one at a time because I have to be 100% focused in the painting, the dyeing, the colors, the waxes, uh, all that stuff. But when it comes to the patina, um, it's very time consuming. It takes forever to get it done. It's unique. That's why these wallets, when they come out, um, you know, if you buy this wallet, it's only one. Um, you might get another one that looks light, but your while it has his own characteristics, his own signature, you know? So that's why the little pricey. So um, just wanted to show you guys, booklet came out absolutely, look at the back. Look at the back, really, really nice. Just wanted to show you that, folks. Uh, all right, I'll talk to you soon. If you need me, you know where to find me. You can either call me or text us. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you, folks. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.